So, we got ourselves another live-action anime film uh, from Netflix, because those have worked out so well in the past. Um, but it's kind of funny um, that this one got announced, and this is, of course, the announcement for the Gundam Wing movie, or it's just Gundam. They haven't specified which Gundam series they're going to be taking place. It's probably going to be either A, just straight-up Gundam Wing, or a amalgam of one Gundam series with another. Like, they're just going to amalgamate. But, um, yeah. Live-action Gundam movie, finally, coming from Netflix. Um, a Gundam movie has been, like, talked about so many times, it's not even funny. But, like, at the same time, I'm, like, worried about it, but at the same time, I'm like, it could be good. Especially with the creative staff behind it, um, with the director being John Voight Roberts. Now, if that name sounds familiar, that's the name of the director of Kong Skull Island, and uh, I believe his film, Metal, the Metal Gear Solid movie he was working on, is finally finished. So, um, yeah. John Voight Roberts can't get away from giant mechs, and you thought it wouldn't be giant monsters. Now, uh, I'm going to talk about a few things... Uh, regarding this movie. Now, we don't have any casting. We don't have anything like that. Uh, all we have, really, are some writers who I haven't really know. I don't really know where they're from. And, of course, Robert's directing the Gundam movie. They haven't said, like, when the release date, at least from the article I read, there wasn't a release date. But, um... I am, like... Excited, but at the same time, I'm worried because you all know those memes where it's like anime, I mean manga, anime, Netflix, <laughs> and the Netflix adaptation. Yeah, the Netflix adaptations have not been great from uh, Full Metal Alchemist to Bleach to especially Death Note. Oh my god, and that one was directed by Adam Wingard, the director who would go on to be Godzilla vs. Kong. You can see why a lot of people were worried about him directing Godzilla vs. Kong after how bad Death Note went, which Apparently, I want to talk about this real quick, was that the apparently the original idea for the live-action Death Note movie was that it wasn't supposed to be, like, focusing on light or whatever. It was supposed to be set in that universe post-Light Yagami, after he had died, and essentially what had happened was that, um, what had happened was, uh, um, it was supposed to be a new character, and Ryuk was the only supposed to be the only recurring character to come back from the anime. It was supposed to be like an, like set in that universe, but not a adaptation of it. But then someone said, no, let's make it a straight up adaptation. And I was excited for the original idea for, de for that Death Note movie. I was like, cool. I was like, right on. Um, that sounds like a cool idea. I wish people, like that's a smart idea because I would have loved to have seen the like more of that universe in there. But no, we got the Death Note movie that we got. Yeah. And keep in mind, Wingard has done other stuff, uh, ranging from good, uh, you know, it's kind of a mixed bag. So, But thank God Godzilla vs. Kong is doing as well as it does. It did, so it gives hope for his Thundercats movie. But getting back to Gundam Wing, um, the big thing you have to look at is the cast. Now, the cast itself, of char I'm talking about the characters, because there is no actors announced yet. But the big thing you have to look at with this is that with... A vast majority of characters is that you can make the argument... I mean, with Helsing, the Helsing movie that is coming uh, to Amazon Prime is... Like, that one you can get away with having a predominantly white European cast because there's really only one or two Japanese characters in the manga. They're all It's supposed to be set in Britain, so... That one you can get away with having uh, a European cast because, yeah, again, it's set in Britain and... and the main character's friggin' Dracula, of course. But with uh, Gundam, it's a little harder because the ethnicities are never really, like... They do have, like, some um, specified name. Like, they do have, like, English-sounding names and some of them are supposed to be from America or a version of Britain or places like that. The problem is, is that the, the ethnicities are a lot harder to gauge, like... Because it's so hard, because you could cast... Like, the smart thing is, like, obviously, some of those characters are obviously going to be need to be J Japanese, obviously, but there are other characters who are, like, you could be a little more leeway, but at the same time, they're, like, they're supposed to be from a different background. Um, so, this one's going to be a little more difficult for casting-wise. Um, but, 
Yeah, because that one... Gundam always walked the line of... Because it never cared about where these characters came from. It cares about where they are going. Or, you know, where their background is. Or who the, where where's the lineage come from this character. Um, it always cared about, like, the pilots themselves. Although, to be fair, Gundam Unicorn did have a different take on that. But we're not going to talk about that. Um, so, yeah... The other thing is, like, which Gundam series are you going to adapt? Like I said, Wing Wing looks like the like the big one to re that they're really going to focus on because that's the best known. However, there are a lot of Gundam shows, and some of them don't follow the continuity, the same continuity. So, I think it, it like I think obviously it's going to be Gundam Wing, and I can't wait for that dramatic rip the uh, invitation scene to be put in live action. That's that's something me and Kaiju Noir and Super DM sixty four have all like wanted to see done in live action that dr that overly dramatic rip the party invitation in half um, scene. If you watch Gundam, you know what <laughs> what scene I'm re I'm directly referring to. So the you could, on the other hand, and this one I think would be a little more controversial, but if you do it right, it works. Like I've been saying is that Gundam has had so many shows and so many universes and so many can continuities. Why not make your own continuity of Gundam? Um, just take little elements of Gundam and the core idea of it and just do a story there from there. Like, I think it would be kind of cool if, like, like, let's say, since a lot of those Gundam universes are so expansive and have so many stories to them, um, why not just do... A completely original story because the characters are going to be difficult enough to not only cast but portray because here's the other thing about um, Gundam Wing characters they are really complex like there are some major complexities uh, me mentally wise like with for the pilots for like you know Wing and Death Scythe and Epion though this is some Game of Thrones shit and John Voight Roberts proved in Kong Skull Island that he can do an action scene no problem. And I have no doubt that he'll probably crack out some great scenes for Metal Gear. But Gundam Wing is more than just giant robots punching each other. And that's what I'm afraid... The other big fear I have is that this is just going to be giant robot punch other giant robot. Like, that's... It, and that's... It, you know, the thing that works for Kong, the big act for Kong Skull Island was you know, big action scenes and, you know, very little character development. That doesn't work, that doesn't fly with Gundam. That doesn't fly, because those characters are all complex, they're all amazing. Well, except Lovecraft, but, except, uh, Pete, uh, uh Relena, oh my god, um, Relena aside and a few others, uh, all of those characters are, you know, complex, they have vast emotions, they are completely spectacular all characters and i don't know if roberts depending on the writer is going to be able to get any of that that's that they're kind of, this is going to be pretty goddamn difficult to really play out um <clears throat> so i it's a it's going to be a challenge because what because the problem I, what i'm afraid is that netflix is going to go make it like godzilla versus kong or kong skull island just make it big robot fight other big robot no that's not how that works that's not how any of this works gundam wing is so much more than just punch the other robot it is you know a drama on par with like get early game of thrones seasons not when we went full stupid and uh by season 8 it's more like Seasons one through three of of Game of Thrones. That's the um, that's the big thing. Is that it's more ga it's more like Game of Thrones in in the earlier season of Game of Thrones with gun with a lot of Gundam shows. So that's the that's what I'm afraid of. If you want to do big robots fight each other, just do a Mech Warrior movie. No, really, like Mech Warrior is pretty much. And I and I and I hate saying this because I love Mech Warrior. But Mech Warrior is Gundam dumbed down. It's it's literally what it is. It's Mech it's G Mech Warrior is Gundam dumbed down. You know, I know it. My fellow Mech Warrior fans know it. So why? And I think that would Mech Warrior would have been a better pick for Robert's kind of acting and directing than a Gundam movie. But who knows? Maybe I'll just like it. It's kind of like the same thing. Like no one thought Adam Wingard to, could direct a. Godzilla vs. Kong movie after how bad the Death Note movie was and his polarizing 
uh, sequel to to Blair Witch, but who knows? Maybe this will be good. Like we don't know. I'm just really concerned because there's a lot of red flags to be like this is harder than it. Like those red flags are saying this is harder than it looks. Like on paper, oh, we can just have giant robots blasting each other. That didn't work with Transformers, and Gundam is way more. Uh, layered than than you would expect. So yeah. So you guys tell me in the comments below. What do you guys think of this? Do you guys like it? Hate it? Uh, do you guys hope have hope for Roberts? Just comment below. Let me know. And once again, I'm Mr. Multiverse. I'll see you next time in the multiverse.